Greetings from Tokyo, my dear, dear friends. This is Daisuke. And wherever you are in the world, where, whatever the situation may be for you at this present time, right here, right now, whatever the case may be, my friends, for you and your family and friends and loved ones, I really, really hope, and again, I'm, I really mean this, I really hope that you are safe and that you are well or as well as can be expected and that you are taking very, very good care of yourselves during these times. And again, I, I know and I acknowledge that and I understand and I recognize that uh, depending on where you might find yourself in the world right now, uh, the times might be very strange and very hectic and very difficult and very, very stressful. Uh, and so uh, whatever the case may be for you, my friends, just please know, uh, for whatever it's worth, that you are always in my thoughts, always, always in my thoughts, and uh, your uh, safety and uh, your well-being are the most important thing and so in that spirit please let me extend to you my warmest warmest regards to you to all of you my friends during these times please continue to take very good care of yourselves uh, again that's the most important thing and uh, just uh, continue to be well or as well as can be expected again during these times and speaking of these times you know I I can completely understand and I can completely uh, be okay with anyone at the moment who might be a viewer or friend of this channel but at the moment for for whatever reason might not necessarily be uh, interested in watching films or cinema perhaps during these times during this particular moment in time this particular moment in history you know maybe uh, watching films is uh, not the most important thing. Perhaps there are more important things uh, to focus one's time and one's energies in. And I completely understand that. And I, I completely respect those viewpoints. And so uh, please note that uh, you will always have my deepest respect. And you can always uh, visit me here at any time, at any time, my friends. And I'm always very happy to see you. Uh, whenever you are free and whenever you have a free moment, uh, we can talk about your favorite movies or your film recommendations or anything you have seen. And uh, we can go from there and have uh, discussions and I can learn from you and we can make our connections. And that has always been my uh, one of my uh, great uh, the great things that uh, I've been so fortunate about with this channel is the ability to be able to meet so many wonderful people uh, through our interactions here on YouTube. And so uh, I do hope that that can con continue. And uh, as long as that can continue, then uh, you are, of course, welcome here at any time, whenever you want, uh, during your free time and when your schedule and when your own uh, when your own situation um, uh, makes it agreeable to your schedule to stop by again uh, the door is always open for you my dear friends here at any time and uh, so with that of course I do uh, want to just continue on with this channel to the best of my abilities uh, that has not changed and so uh, as long as I have the energy to keep this going, I will certainly do my best to push forward. And so with that, I do want to say that uh, that includes the live streams. Now, we are already in the month of June 2020. And so I think that, uh, well, we have one film that we have scheduled for this coming June 6th, which is a Saturday. Uh, at 11 p.m. Tokyo time. So June 6th at 11 p.m. Tokyo time, uh, as some of you may already know, we will be talking about the film Before Midnight. This is the Richard Linklater film Before Midnight. And so once again, this will be the, the subject of discussion. 
on Saturday, June 6th, 2020 at 11 p.m. Tokyo time. And uh, I, again, I hope I can see you there. And I look forward to hearing your thoughts and comments about this very, very interesting film, uh, which is Before Midnight. So once again, this is Saturday, June 6th at 11 p.m. Tokyo time, so before midnight. And that's not all, my friends, because I do also want to say that in June, I do want to continue with the live stream schedule. Now, at the moment, I haven't necessarily settled on a specific uh, date and time schedule for the films, and I haven't decided on the films yet. I apologize. I will try to do polls going forward, but uh, I haven't set those up yet, so uh, I just ask for your patience, and I'm, I have uh, a couple things on my own schedule, uh, my own personal schedule here that I have to deal with, and so that has prevented me from doing any uh, uh, real specific preparation for any polls for June, a live stream, etc., and for that I really apologize. I hope you can forgive me, but I am doing my very best with that, and as soon as I have any information about what films we can discuss or the possibilities of, of what films that we can discuss here, I will certainly let you know. Uh, but also I should say that the uh, I, in parallel with that, I, I do want to say that the James Bond films uh, w in the live stream format those discussions, I think, are, are very uh, interesting, and I do want those to continue. And so with that, my friends, the next film, again, I don't know when it's going to be, but it'll be as soon as possible, and I will announce it uh, in advance. But the next film I do want to talk about is, I mentioned in the live stream last time for the film The Living Daylights, I did mention You Only Live Twice, and I think uh, I may have mentioned a thunderball, you only live twice, or a view to a kill. Uh, and I really thought about those, and I thought, oh, those would be really great to talk about in live streams. But I think ultimately, I do want to go with a Sean Connery film, and I don't want to. I want to go with a Sean Connery film that is also a debut Sean Connery film. And we spoke about George Lazenby's debut, his one and only James Bond film, in fact on Her Majesty's Secret Service. And then we went to Timothy Dalton's debut film as James Bond, which is The Living Daylights. And so in that spirit, I'd like to say that the next James Bond film that we will talk about in a live stream time, which will be somewhere in June, again, uh, specifics to be announced in a later uh, video. This is going to be the film we'll be talking about, which is Dr. No. So we will be, at some point, the next James Bond live stream will be Dr. No, and I will make an announcement about that at a later date uh, and give you the specifics as far as the time and the, the day and, and everything like that. So don't worry, but just for your information, we will be talking about Dr. No as the next James Bond live stream. So uh, this coming Saturday, it's before midnight, and then sometime in June, hopefully very soon, it will be Dr. No. Now, I do want to say that this is a very, very interesting film. I, I think there's there are a lot of interesting uh, things to talk about, and I have a number of, of, uh, of comments to make about it, uh, both, I think, very, uh, I'm very much, uh, uh, positive about this. There are also some things I think we can be critical about uh, with respect to this film and uh, go go from there. But it is undoubtedly a film that is uh, very significant in the context of the James Bond films, the Eon Productions date James Bond film series. And so uh, I do, and it will be the, the a great opportunity for me to begin to talk about the uh, the legacy, if you will, of Sean Connery as James Bond 007. And what better place to start, I suppose, than at the very beginning. So here we have the film Dr. No, which, as I say, will be sometime in June uh, after the Before Midnight live stream. So once again, the Before Midnight live stream will be Saturday, June 6th at 11 p.m. Tokyo time. And then sometime afterwards, again, I will let you know specifically when, but sometime after that in June, we will be talking about Dr. No and sometime in June, or so very soon, I will let you know as to the other films that we will talk about in the live streams 
uh, in June. So uh, uh, I'm very sorry for not posting any schedule in advance, but I hope you can forgive me. Uh, but as soon as I have every detail figured out on my end, I will, of course, let you know. So please stay tuned to this channel for more updates as they come. And once again, my friends, you know, once again, I must emphasize, I really must emphasize this, that you have no, there's no need to show up if you don't feel like it, you know. Uh, if you feel like you want to, uh, uh, how, do, how should I say it, you, you don't feel like watching films at this particular point, uh, that's fine. Uh, there's nothing that says you have to watch films when you don't want to. But if you are feeling like you want to go to cinema or you want to watch cinema and, and maybe talk about it uh, in some form or another, uh, and you are interested in talking about one or uh, more of the films that I announced, then please feel free to join me uh, at any time. And you can join me, for instance, this coming Saturday for this film and for Dr. No, which will be later this month. And it will be my pleasure, as always, my friends, to hear from you and to learn from you. And as I say, to just uh, get to know more about what it is you are thinking and what it is you are feeling with respect to this thing which we all love which is cinema. And so uh, whatever you feel like doing, my friends, I am always very happy to, uh, to uh, oblige and to, uh, to just uh, listen to what it is you have to say. So uh, with that, my friends, uh, if you are interested, please feel free to stop by uh, this coming Saturday. And uh, I will, of course, make updates on this channel uh, when I have everything figured out on my end. So hopefully that'll be very soon. Once again, I ask for your patience. And with that, my friends, I just want to say once again, thank you so much for your support. And more importantly, more importantly than that, thank you so much for just continuing uh, to be enthusiastic and continuing to be passionate and energetic and whether that be in regards to cinema or whether that be in regards to life and whether that be in regards to whatever the situation may be for you in the world right now, uh, please, once again, uh, my warmest regards to you, my deepest thanks to you, and I just hope that you continue to take very, very good care of yourselves during these times, during these moments, during this moment, my friends. And with that, I look forward to seeing you again very, very soon. Until then, my friends, please be well, be very, very well, or as well as can be expected, and cheers. Mm -hmm.